Hey guys, in this example we have been given a top view and a side view and asked to draw the perspective view. In this example we don't have a true lens line as the point touching the picture plane refers to a line on the side view that is not perpendicular to the ground. This means that every line or point on this drawing will be distorted in size, shape and position except for the true point. I've redrawn these views to remind you how to get the vanishing points. To get the left side vanishing point, rotate your set square to the angle of the left side adjacent edge. In this case, a 60 degree angle. Drag your set square across, maintaining the 60 degree angle until you have a clear line from the picture plane to the station point. Make a mark on the picture plane and then bring down this point vertically. We do the same using the right side adjacent edge, which is rotated 30 degrees to the horizontal, to get our right side vanishing point. We then label all the corners, making up our drawing, on the top and side view. We then bring down the true point from the top and side view. Where the lines intersect is our true point. Once the true point has been located in the perspective view, it can be projected to the left and right side vanishing points. These lines are perspective lines extending out from point 1. Since 1 is next to 2 and 4 on the plan view and are at the same elevation as we can see from the side view, point 2 will lie on the left perspective line extending from 1 and point 4 will lie on the right perspective line extending from 1. We can then bring down points 2 and 4 onto their respective perspective lines by placing the point in line with the station point. As the line intersects the picture plane, we make a mark and bring down this mark vertically onto its perspective line. Now, we don't have a perspective line for points 3, 5 and 6. To get a perspective line for point 3, place your set square coincident with the line 3, 4. And where the set square intersects the picture plane is where you make a mark. Bring down this mark vertically. Then project point 3 across from the side view. Where these construction lines intersect, make a mark. This mark should then be projected to your vanishing points. Now you have a perspective line for points 3, 4. Check that your procedure is correct, as perspective line 1, 4 should intersect perspective line 3, 4 at point 4. Now bring down point 3 onto the perspective line 3, 4. We then follow the same procedure for points 5 and 6. Note that these points are at different elevations to the points 1 to 4 and therefore their perspective lines will contain singular points. Once you've joined up all your points, neaten up your drawing, 